So uh, thank you for coming to our presentation. I'm Shintaro uh, from Keio University and Toyota Research Institute Advanced Development. And both of Riku and Shintaro will uh, present this presentation. So actually, I'm going to switch the presenter in the middle of the slide. So our title is Exploration of Reinforcement Learning for Event Camera Using Car Like Robots. So a uh, quick uh, overview of what is event camera. So uh, all of you already like have seen. So uh, event camera is new visual sensor uh, which emits the signals at the timing only when intensity changes at the pixel level. And because of this mechanism, event camera has some several features compared with traditional frame RGB cameras. And uh, in those of uh, in those three features actually are making event camera very suitable for robot application, uh, like less data amount and less latency and less power consumption. Because robot application sometimes requires very fast control, like 100 hertz, and also uh, requires less power, cons power consumption because it's onboarding. So uh, looking back to past researches of event camera on robot, so there are a couple of researches, even in this 2020 ICRA conference, uh, there are several researches uh, using drones on event camera. And looking further back into the history, uh, there was a research of pencil balancing robot, which is in the right bottom part. But However, uh, all of those past researches are using handcrafted algorithm for control, which means even the recognition part or tracking part sometimes using the machine learning model to predict some like recognition result, uh, the integration from recognition part into the control output part is uh, designed by humans. This is why we focused on reinforcement learning application using event camera. So compared with handcrafted algorithm, uh, which is interpretable because like human designs, uh, if you use end-to-end -end reinforcement learning algorithm, uh, it requires no a priori knowledge and it's better generalization. And, but like, uh, you know, it's sometimes less interpretable because the end-to-end -end machine learning model is kind of black box. And in most cases, it requires simulator. So the purpose of this work, our work, is to explore end-to-end -end reinforcement learning for event camera application. And this is a brief overview of uh, our method. So basically, it's kind of simple. Train a model in simulator and deploy it and run inference on real robot. So I'm going to explain the simulator part. So for simulator, uh, we need to define agent first. So we used car robot equipped with an event camera. So as event camera, we simulated Davis 240, 248 times like 180 pixels. And as car robot, we use Copilot 3. Uh, this is like 20 centimeters toy car, uh, boring Raspberry Pi and we implemented vehicle dynamics model. And as for tasks, uh, we selected two tasks. The first one is collision avoidance against falling object in front of the agent. And the second one is tracking. And we're gonna present the first one only here. So if you're interested, please refer to the paper for the second tracking task. In order to train the Reinforcement learning algorithm, I mean, neural network, uh, we need to define environment and action and reward. So here's settings. So the problem setting is we want the agent to avoid objects falling randomly, sometimes on the way of the, of the agent, sometimes like not related, like anywhere else. So we want the agent to avoid the, avoid the object collision. And observation space is, uh, which is gonna be the input to the neural network is image-like feature, which we're gonna explain later. 
And for action space, uh, basically we set two actions. So the agent can either going forward or stop. And the reward setting, uh, we set base reward and this extra reward. So why we set this extra reward? So of course we want to punish the agent when the collision happened. So minus 50 when collided with the object. But basically, uh, if uh, otherwise we want the agent to going forward as much as possible, because if we don't set this reward, like going forward 0 0.2 reward, uh, the agent will learn like just stopping all the time to avoid objects. So I'm going to switch the presentation here to Rick. Rick, can you check my screen? Yeah. All right, so from here, I'm going to talk about the feature model and results along with the demonstration video. So as we have trained a model in a simulator and transferred it to the real world, we need to match the data representation in both cases. So for this purpose, we introduced a feature named, named image-like feature uh, as shown in the right figure, which is calculated by accumulating events within a short, short interval. And we set the interval to be 0 0.01 seconds, which is equal to 100 hertz. In fact, this is, uh, the speed is much faster than prior studies, for example, one of which assumed 20 hertz in the collision avoidance a task. And this is a table summarizing the configuration of the reinforcement learning method. So for the model, we use a double DQM. For neural network, we use two convolutional layers and two fully connected layers. And for policy, we use eGreedy and we use Adam Optimizer. And we train the model in a conventional GPU uh, environment. So as a result of the simulated learning, we obtain this learning curve reward and episode. So the x-axis x represents the episodes and the y-axis shows the sum of rewards in each episode. And as you can see that the uh, agent successfully learned to uh, the policy, which is stopping before colliding the foreign objects. So finally, we transfer the trained model to a real robot. Uh, and we keep the camera to a toy car and to run a trained reinforcement learning model with a remote server and communicate the robot via web socket. So in here we didn't uh, we didn't uh, sorry that the reason why we chose this approach was due to the limited computational power of Raspberry Pi for handling the event stream and the infra RL model. So let's see the video. So the car is moving and it's the randomly fallen object. Like this. All right, so actually this is a, okay, this is summary of the study. We demonstrate an approach of leverage event camera potential using reinforcement learning. And we showed two successful training with those of reinforcement learning, simulating a car robot equipped with an event camera. And we demonstrated that the trained model can be transferred to the real world robot that was able to avoid collision with a, a result without avoiding falling objects. So yeah, we admit that the task in our experiment is still a toy problem status, and thus we will apply our approach to more complicated tasks that require fast control as a future work. So if you get interested, please chat to us. Thank you for joining the presentation. We are open to any questions. All right, thank you. So yeah, we have uh, one from Carol. How do you determine the relative magnitude of the various rewards so that the training procedures okay, produce, uh, uh, training produces sensitive uh, or se sensible policies? So you mean, okay. So you mean the, yeah, yeah, how yeah, we yeah. get the reward? Yeah. Okay. Shintaro, do you have any comments on this? So basically we like we did many trial and errors. 
uh, based on like various real setting and we reach this setting. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, okay, we didn't explore the these values and we actually in, initially set these values and we got a good result. So yeah, there is room to explore so we, what kind of rewards should we set for each task. Mm -hmm. Thank you.